Hi, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I uh, just wanted to talk about important PDF I have discovered online. This might be a little old, but I'm not sure how relevant it is in today's high-frequency trading uh, marketplace in terms of infrastructure and whatnot. As you tell about this PDF, I'll let you uh, figure out where this um, this URL is on gigaspaces.com, but here's the entire URL. Um, basically, it's uh, a marketing, I guess you call it a fluff white paper from Sun before Oracle took them over. But I've done my research over a number of years, and I can tell you that uh, Solaris from Sun, the original Sun, is probably the best uh, platform to go with for any real we we'll call it real-time, high-frequency trading um, infrastructure. I say that because when you look at the limitations of uh, MySQL, let's say, the most generous you'll find is always on Solaris. Nothing to do with uh, MySQL is part of or was part of the MySQL or part of the, the Sun software um, suite of products, but truly, uh, from my interviews that I've had over the years from Citibank to... Uh, Morgan Stanley to Bloomberg, um, all these big companies are using Solaris as their uh, back end for uh, their real deployment in terms of trading, in terms of uh, very, uh, very low latency. This document perfectly explains why uh, Solaris is the way to go, both from the hardware and from the software uh, end of it, including Solaris the OS. Um, it gives a it's a very easy read uh it gives you all the different uh components that would be part of um the uh infrastructure of a complete high frequency trading environment uh it does go on about low latency from what i've seen and i can confirm this from other sources that uh slurs is is the um ultimate uh platform to be on in terms of low latency uh and also with the sun hardware as well. Um, the problem with Solaris, it was never really popular enough for a lot of application development. Uh, for instance, MATLAB is not part of uh, Solaris. They don't support Solaris, which is a shame. Um, I've also looked at R. Um, there seems to be some movement towards uh, an R version for Solaris, but again, there's some, seems to be some uh, limitations with it, so that is the big drawback of it, but in terms of pure delivery, in terms of uh, trading and execution and orders, uh, Solaris is definitely the platform to be on. Um, one thing that uh, this uh, document does go on about is uh, jitteriness, uh, part of an operating system. Obviously, I would think that Windows is pretty high. Um, and also, um, the other big one that I've just discovered was Java, Java real-time uh, server, I believe. Um, and that will help eliminate the uh, garbage collector. Uh, that's something new I never knew about. Uh, j I knew about Java and its abilities, but the um, Java RTS I never heard about. So uh, that's something to read about as well. Um, but that seems to, here you go, real-time uh, Java. Um, and uh, here it is, the Java RTS, uh, which is right here. And it still seems to be support under the current uh, realm of Oracle as well. Um, so th these are areas that you might be uh, interested in. There's also a dynamic tracing built into um, as part of the API or uh, <coughs> part of the um, stack of, uh, of uh, Java, as well as some of the big players that use it. Obviously, uh, Thomson Reuters, NYSE, Euronext, Wombat, um, they use them for their back end, uh, including their ticker plants. And um, one of the big advantages of using something like this enables you to have the throughput of, you know, there was a stat I was reading in this document about 1.5 million transactions per second are read into a platform. So this is something very interesting to read. Now. Um, that's something uh, worth uh, investigating. But I just wanted to point that out and let you all know about that. That Slayers might be an option.